Wait a minute. All right, all right, all right. Okay, we got it now. All right. <laughs> yeah, we got it now. We good. All right. Yeah, we're going to wait for a couple more people to chime in. We got it. My screen wouldn't come on for a second, but we got it now. All right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. See what that say back there? See what that say back there? Dream big, baby. Gotta dream big. Worry ain't going If you're dreaming big, you ain't got time to worry. Wait for a couple more people to chime in and we're gonna go ahead and kick this thing off. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and get started now. All right, worrying and stress are the silent killers. It's, it, I mean, in this lawn care business, uh, we got enough to worry about and, and just to be worrying. You know what I mean? Yeah, if we get you know three days worth of rain, it's a problem solver for that. You know what I mean? If we get a week's worth of rain, it's a problem solver for that. If tools go down, it's a problem solver for that. If one of the vehicles go down. It's a problem solved for that, you know, but as you keep worrying and, and worrying and worrying and worrying because things are not where you want to be, you're, 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 act, you're acting like, you know, you know, you're supposed to go zero to a hundred, you know, real quick. You're looking at other landscapers and in the position that they're in and stuff like that. And you're worrying why you're not there, why you're not at that particular time. It's not your season. It's, it's not your season. Everything happens in time. Everything ha and it's a step by step process that goes along with it. When it's your time, the universe will allow it to be your time. But until then, you have to play the part. You have to play the role. You have to go through the steps. If you if you get it too quickly, it may leave you too quickly. You understand? So. Don't get yourself in a frenzy. Don't be worrying yourself where you're, you know, losing all your hair and you wind up having panic attacks and heart attacks and stuff like that. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. You know, in, in the lawn care business, I, I see a three, three things that a lot of people worry about. They worry about because we get a lot of rain. They worry about if one of the tools go down or the vehicle or something like that. And they worry about the employees not showing up. Those are the three things. But, I mean, you're worrying about it. The outcome is going to be the outcome. All you can do is plan accordingly, adjust, you know, adjust and keep it moving. And keep it moving. You know what I mean? You're worrying about, oh, I got a job scheduled for the day and only two people showed up. But, you know, I got other things I got to do. All it takes is a phone call. If your work is up to par and your work is, is up to standards, they, they will understand. All it takes is a phone call to be like, hey, we ran into something and, and, and we will be there between today and tomorrow and we'll get you go ahead and get you squared away. There's no need to worry about things that really don't need to be worried about. You know, I watched my pops in this landscape business, and he would be up all hours of the night walking the floor, worrying about this, worrying about that, you know. And I would get up, and I would be like, man, what are, what are you doing? Why are you just sitting here just walking the floors like this? I said, it's no, it's, no, it's no reason to really walk the floors like this. You know what I mean? What's going to be is going to be. You know what I mean? And he will look at me and instantly say, uh, bills, money. <laughs> and, I, and, and, and I get it. And 
Trust me, I totally get it. I have a wife and two boys of my own. You know what I mean? So I, I totally get the thing, but you can't change it. You, I mean, and I would tell him, okay, well, we didn't got a wish for rent. We can't change it. So this is what we can do. You know, uh, I know this is your business. At the time, it was his business. So I'm like, you know, if you don't mind me throwing out a suggestion, hey, this is what we can do. We can get on the horn, all the customers that were for this week, we can get on the horn and call them and be like, hey, you know what I mean? We got a week's worth of rain. We're going to go ahead and tackle you this week, you know, uh, 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 along, you know, with our other customers. But we have to put you back on schedule for the following week. So we may come two weeks in a row so, you know, we can get back on a routine schedule. They had no problem with that. That week that we had to do double duty, oh, it was treacherous. <laughs> did it take, you know, seven days to do it? Yes, it did. You know what I mean? It took seven days and some of the next week, but we had to keep going and going and going until we finally got caught up. It's ways of working around it. But if you're worrying and you're, and you're pacing the floors, you're not able to think correctly. And on the days that you get the rain and and, and, and stuff like that, those are times where you need to be touching up at every other areas that you're lacking. in. It's a blessing because it's raining because it gives you time to recuperate and figure out what, what needs to be done. You know what I mean? So, okay, it's raining. Oh, we got grass cutting to do and this and that or whatever. Oh, man, you know, I, I can't get out there and cut no grass. Da, 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 da. Okay, I can't get out there and cut no grass. I know that. Okay, so... I know I got this job coming up. Oh, I know I want to get in other areas of this landscaping. Let me go ahead and pick this book up and read up on these shrubs. Let me go ahead and find out what's the latest tools I can use for the fall to make it a little easy. Let me go ahead and do some research on some leaf to bro, the, uh, debris, lotus. Is it the billy goat? Is it the lower wonder? Which one should I go to? You know what I mean? So when you get that rain and stuff like that and, and, and you're worrying about, you know, the grass shooting up, you know, six feet tall. And <laughs> like you see on these YouTube channels, you ain't worried about six feet tall and stuff like that. You, it's nothing you can do about it. All you can do is look at the weather or you can't even go in the weather sometimes. All you can do is just wake up the next morning. If you got two days worth of rain, then... You know, that third day, if it don't rain, you're going to wind up doing some miscellaneous or you're going to be hitting and missing. The fourth day, you're going to get out there and you're going to bang. You know what I mean? Because it should have been dried up somewhat. You know what I mean? Because all if you got two days worth of a good soaking rain, you're not you're not going to, you know, get out there that third day and try to really do something. Because all them clumps and tearing up yards and all of that stuff, that would be totally out the about the question you know what i mean so because i remember one week we got a solid four days you know worth of rain i mean like hard downpours and stuff like that i just went ahead and scratched the whole week and started fresh off monday you know what i mean we had to do double duty you know what i mean and we were working from literally from like seven to seven you know what i mean seven to six thirty you know what i mean i mean every day that's what it was you know what i mean I wasn't panicking. I wasn't rushing because, for example, when I did panic and when I did rush and stuff like that, it made it more difficult. I was forgetting to put certain things. I was forgetting to do certain things. I wasn't looking because I was too busy trying to rush to try to get caught up. I was too busy. I was compromising my, my, my work to try to get more work done. If you, if that makes sense to you, I was, I was compromising what needed to be done. You know what I mean? I was quite, I was compromising the quality of work that I was doing because I was trying to get X amount out the way. You know what I mean? So I, and I understand, you know, and that's when phone calls come into play and you communicating with your customer. If you communicate with the customer and you always on time and you always come when you're supposed to. Your work is grade A. You don't have a problem. Once you make that phone call to that customer, they'll be like, oh, OK, cool. You know what I mean? All right. Well, you know, I see you when you get here. What's your estimated, you know, day you think you can get here and this and that. And you just tell them, you know, I'm going to shoot for Wednesday. But if it's not Wednesday, it'll be third. You know, it'll be Thursday. But we will be there this week. If I can get there earlier, I'll get there earlier. 
You know what I mean? But communicating with your customer is key because I see a lot of people worrying about that. They're thinking that their customers want to go somewhere else because, you know, they're not there. You know what I mean? They're not, you know, go because we got all this rain and stuff like that. And they're thinking about the money aspect of it. But let's just, let's just be clear about it. Let's just be clear about it. If we don't get any rain, we'll be in the same boat because everything going to be dried up and they're going to be telling you not to cut anyway. So what, what are you going to do? Are you going to worry about that? You know what I mean? So why worry about, you know, when it rains, because when it dries up, they're going to call you anyway and tell you not to cut. So type patience in the comment. Come on now, type patience, because we're going to be patient. We're going to do this right, and we're going to have it when it's time for us to have it. So let's be patient about this, all right? Ain't no need to worry. Worrying is the silent bully. It's a, you know, it, 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 it's stress is the silent killer. So why do it? You're supposed to love and enjoy what you're doing. You're supposed to love and enjoy what you're doing. If lawn care is it, if, if lawn care is just sixty dollars, you know, for you, then maybe you need to find another gig. You know what I mean? And that's with any business. You know what I mean? You have to love what you do. You know what I mean? And communication is the key. You have to be able to communicate with your customers. Because say for instance, if yes, okay, yeah, you're you're fresh in the business. And, you know, you're working out your van or your pickup truck or whatever it may be, you know, your steak body or whatever. You're working out of your truck and somehow, you know, you need to get the brakes fixed. You know what I mean? You need, you need to get, you know, uh, some tire. You need to get, you know, a tune up. You need to get something done to your truck, but it's going to be down for a couple of days. You know what I mean? And this and that or whatever. And, you're, and it's during the rainy season. <laughs> so you're getting all of this rain and then, you know, you got to get this stuff done for your truck, you know what I'm saying, this and that or whatever, so it's going to be down on top of the rain, so, you know, solution is, hey, let me go and see if, you know, a uh, 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 Home Depot or Lowe's got something, got me, a, got, got me a truck to rent, you know what I mean, for those couple of days I'm off, you know what I mean, I have to pull from petty cash or whatever, I had to pull from the money I was saving for to try to get this llama or this and that or, or my expense account. You know what I mean? Because every business should have repair bill account. You know what I mean? Just in case when something go down, you have this money to pull from, you know, when you're in business. But sometimes it don't align like that. You know what I mean? Because when you're just starting, everything counts. You know what I mean? And you're still trying to stay on top of your personal bills and stuff like that. So, so I, you know, I kind of, I, I get that. You know what I mean? But in this instance, you know what I mean? You're going to have to, you know, if you don't have it like that, you're going to have to rob Peter to pay Paul to keep that grass going. Because if you don't rob Peter to pay Paul, then you're going to be worrying. You know what I mean? Oh, I got to pay this. I got to pay that. You know what I'm saying? I got to do this. You know what I mean? I got to get my six pack of Michelob. You know what I mean? <laughs> You know, you, know, you understand what I'm saying? Hey, man, you had to put that six pack of bigger load back up on the shelf. You know what I mean? And go get that truck fixed so you can keep on working so that grass don't get too out of control on you. You know, you know what I mean? But I mean, everything happens in the season. So you can go down to, you know, Lowe's or Home Depot or your local rental place and be like, hey, I need this truck. You know what I mean? For two days and this and that or whatever. Yes, you will have to do it. But you could always make it up on the back end by having doing something extra for a customer on their property. You know what I mean? So you're saying, hey, well, this customer went and 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 and, and I had to spend, you know, sixty dollars, you know, or hundred dollars, you know what I'm saying, uh, for this uh, uh, truck, you know, to, to rent it. So I got I got to recoup this. So what what can I do? You can go to each customer and be like, hey, you know, I'm going to pull some weeds here. You know, I'll do a little pruning here. It doesn't have to just be cut and go. You know what I mean? Because I see a lot of customers, that, I mean, a lot of landscapers and lawn care people, they do a lot of cut and go. You know, and they, and, they, and they contract out other people to do like the pruning, the weeding, the mulching and stuff like that. Some people just want to do grass cutting. And I get that. But in certain instances, you're going to have to venture off. 
You know what I mean? You're going to have to venture off to get into other areas so you can make up that cost. You know what I mean? And then you won't be worrying about, okay, how I'm going to pay for this truck. So you got to get every avenue you can while the weather is good, just in case that truck go down. Hey, you know what I mean? Then you're looking at, you know, your tools or, or, and stuff like that. You look at your tools and you're like, hey, dang, my blower went down. I, I definitely need this blower for cleanup. What can I do? And this and that or whatever. They got a home depot. They got blowers. You can rent. You know what I mean? You may come across one of your landscaping buddies or one of your lawn care buddies. You know, they got a business. They got an extra blower or something. Hey, man, let me, let me get that blower up for you for, you know, for a second. How much you want for it? And this and that or whatever for me to get it up off of you for uh, maybe about two days or something like that. And maybe you can do that with a truck. Maybe he got a truck sitting there. You know what I mean? So Because, I mean, like right now, you know, I know a couple people that are running like three, four crews and they only running like two and they got just got like one truck sitting. You know what I mean? But it may have their logo on it, but you're able to get to where you got to go without spending that money for that, for that rental. They may just do you a solid to keep you moving. You know what I mean? And then when they hit a jam, then you just do them a solid. I mean, I I, I got reports like that too. You know what I mean? So let's not worry about things that we can't control. You know what I mean? On them bad days, hey, pick up a book. Read up on the shrubs. Read up on what causes diseases in the yard. You know what I mean? Read up on what pH levels need to be. And I mean, it's, it's 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 several things that can be done. You know what I mean? Work on that website. Or get with somebody to work with the website. You know what I mean? Like I'm in the process now of, you know, we had, you know, a couple of days of, you know, rain, this and that. And I'm working with somebody to get the website going and this and that or whatever. So, you know, once the, once that gets to pop and, you know, you take advantage of the days you have all the days you have of our blessings you know what i mean because I, I i and i noticed that certain landscapers would be like you know my day is off and i like to sleep in i like to be with my kids i like to you know because you know when the weather is i'm not around i totally get that i i i, I totally understand that but you're not a worker you're a business owner that's just what it is you know what i mean it's it's a difference between a worker and, and, a, and a business owner Workers can just, you know, go and come, but business owners got to keep going because you're always looking for that next level to, to, to get to. You know what I mean? You're always looking for that next plateau to get to. You know what I mean? So on your day off, you may be like, hey, you know, I always a lot, you know, sometimes, you know, um, I lot, you know, maybe a Sunday or something, you know, Sundays, I, I you know, I like to just chill. Get my rest, cool out, listen out, whatever. I'll work some something Saturdays or something like that. If my boys got uh, basketball or football games or something like that, I'll try. You know, during the course, I'll try to swing. I'll swing by. You know, catch out their game and this and that. If I got more work I gotta do, then I'll leave there and, and go back and finish some work up or meet the guys on the job or something like that. Just to you know, uh, uh, be able to see, you know, what my boy's doing. Plus, you know, still trying to get the jobs done in the process. You know what I mean? Or sometimes I just can't make it to the, you know, I get, get you can't make it to the games. You know what I mean? But fortunately, I've been able to meet, make the games and stuff like that. You know, um, when my oldest son was younger and I was like fully fledged, you know, going hard and this and that, trying to build things up, it was certain games I had to miss. You know what I mean? And he, he would be a little upset, but I mean, I, I it was, it was, you know what I mean? If I don't go to work, you don't play. <laughs> you, you understand what I'm saying? So, you know, and it, it, and it began to be, you know, some pressure on my wife and this and that because we had, you know, a younger son, you know, that needed 10 and 2. And he, she's trying to get, you know, this, you know, 8-year-old together. And then, you know, then the, you know, the two-year-old, I mean, the uh, three-year-old needed attending to and this and that. And she's trying to watch the game, but the three-year-old, you know, it was, it got to be a lot, as you know. <laughs> so I had to, you know, I had to rework some things. You know, you always can rework things and this and that, how it may be. Okay, say, for instance, you know, you got jobs lined up and this and that or whatever, and you want to line jobs up, but the guys you got are not reliable. 
I get that too. But there's no need to worry about it. You work with what you got until you can get something better. You understand? You understand what I'm saying? You work with what you got until you can get something better. You schedule accordingly. If they, you know, if they come to you and be like, hey, you know, I need some work. I need da 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 da. Okay, you know, when I scheduled this work, you, you was taking home. So now, you know what I mean? Dan and I restructured and did some things. You know what I mean? Now you know. Now you want the now you can't have it both ways. You can't have it both ways because I got to keep my sanity out here. <laughs> now, take patience, man. Take patience, man. In that comment, I'm, I'm gonna wait, man. I got time, man. I'm about to go in, man. I got time, man. Take patience in that comment, man. Yeah. Mm hmm. Type it. You must have patience, okay? Worrying won't do nothing but cause mistakes. Worrying will cause you to mess up that line. Worrying will cause you to run over something to have you to put up, put that truck in the shop. You know what I mean? Worrying will have you saying some things to your employees to make them not want to show up. Worrying plays a factor in all of that. And then you got to think about, yeah, I got a lot of stuff on my shoulders. I got a lot of stuff I got going on. But what I came up with was what's going to be, it's going to be. It may not, it may not map out to the way I want it to be. It may not go as planned all the time. But we have to be able to think on the fly. You know what I mean? We got to be able to think on the fly. Once we think on the fly, you know what I mean? And be like, oh, okay, well, um, this is, you know, I was supposed to do that, 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 and that. I can't do that because so-and-so didn't come to work today. But you know what? Boom, I can do this. And then once he come back, I can go ahead and do that. You know what I mean? So we got it. We got it. You know, we, we may have to change it on, 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 on at a drop of a hat. I mean, that's just what it is. I mean, we, I mean, that's just the way it goes. You know what I mean? But don't worry about the little things. You know what I mean? I, you know, I've seen it, what it does. And I seen, you know, how my pops did, you know, he was a very successful man, but that worrying and that stress he put upon himself led him. He just started, you know what I'm saying? Going down, down, down. And I was looked at and I was like, I am not putting myself through that. No, I'm not. You know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not putting myself. I love to do this because I like to be outside. I love to do this because I'm on my own time. I love to do this because I can schedule my schedule. I love to do this for various reasons. You know what I mean? I love, you know, doing landscaping. I love, you know, doing lawn care. I, that's just what I love to do. You know, some people say, hey, man, that's kind of weird. You know what I mean? This and that. Why do you like it? I love it. I, that, that's just me. You know what I mean? I love to help out people where I can do during landscaping. You know what I mean? If I see an elderly and be like, hey, you know, and I see them out there struggling this and that or whatever, hey, we're going to go ahead and just as just a little sidewalk up for you, no charge, we're going to keep it moving. You know, just to say, you know, that's just what I like to do. You know what I mean? Take patience. We're going to be patient. Ain't no worry in here. We're going to be patient. You know what I mean? But that's just what I like to do. I mean, because everybody has their craft, everybody has their niche. And for me, doing landscaping is a is therapy for me. You know what I mean? It's it's literally therapy for me. You know, and I've seen certain people that work at their craft and they'd be like, hey, you know, I love to do this. And I'll look at them and be like, what? They'd be like, you know, it, I, I get to work through some things. And another way I get to work through some things is when I get on the treadmill. You know what I mean? When I get on the treadmill and I'm walking and I got my headphones on, whether I'm listening to music or my podcast or whatever, I, I'm able to sit there and I'm thinking of how I can work through some things. I'm not worrying. I just want to work through some things. You know what I mean? Because I make no mistake about it. I got a, a long life to live and I'm going to live it. And I'm not going to live it worrying about something I can't control. You know what I mean? 
okay, I can't control this. I can't do this. You know, it's, 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 it's a done deal over here. So until this gets right, let me focus on this so I can build up step by step. Step by step. You see where I'm going with this? Little by little. You know what I mean? I got five days, so I got five days, you know, to get my tools together and this and that. Oh, I already got that. Um, let me go ahead and, and get these blades shop. I already got that. You know what I'm saying? This and that, whatever. So you're good on the two part. You don't have to get oil changes. You don't have to do none of that stuff because, you know, you already got all of that stuff taken care of. So let me call so-and-so, you know, uh, let me call a uh, little Billy to see if he got, you know, see what he got going on with my website. You know what I mean? You go over that with them. That's another step with the website. You know what I mean? Let me call up here up, uh, the Lamo shop to see, you know, what, what's up with these uh, uh, Billy Goat uh, 18 horsepower leaf debris. Let me let me see what's going on with that. Okay. So let me, let me, let me, why, oh, dang, yeah, I can call and be like, hey, you know, what kind of payment plans do they do and this and that or whatever. Oh, let me call to see, you know, how much it'll cost to reinforce my stuff. It's all a process. Let me call and see. Uh, uh, let me maybe I put some more ads out. Let me let me go up here to you know to the local shelters or something like that to see if I can you know uh, uh, see you know what kind of you know guys may want to work up there. See who may have a license up there or something like that. So everything is a step by step process. Everything is a step by step process. You know what I mean? So on those days where you can't do nothing, you go ahead. And you work on the other areas until that area gets well. Once that area gets well, then you go ahead and you be like, hey, let me work on this. And then before you know it, you got two areas, three areas, four areas that are booming all at the same time. You know what I mean? You got you got areas that are booming at the same time and you see how it's going and you took the time and you were patient. Type patience in the, in the, in the, in the comments. I'm going to wait. Type patience in the comment. We ain't doing no worry. By you worrying, you wouldn't be able to take those steps that you were able to take. You know what I mean? When you feel like you sitting there and you worrying, you sit back, close your eyes, and take them deep breaths. And blow it out. Blow that worry out. If you got to do it a second time, and blow it out, blow it out. And then keep it moving. Keep it moving. Life is too good for you to be worrying about something that you can't control. Life is too good. It's too good. This is this is every day you go outside and you see that sun shining. I don't care if you go outside and you see it's raining. You know what I mean? It's a good day because you've been able to see that rain. Some people ain't been able to see that. And why they not, some of them not able to see it because they were worrying, they were stressing. Okay? Everything's not going to go as planned. Everything is not going to be smooth. Everything is not going to be, you know, on an even keel all the time. Sometimes you're going to have to take detours. Sometimes you're going to hit roadblocks. I mean, that's just what it is. But you take it for what it's worth. Come up with another plan and keep it moving. Play patience. It's all patience. That's all it is. Read up on what on the days that you you know you so called have off because you had to put that truck in the shop. Read up on some things to reassure yourself of what you're doing. Oh man, I always wanted to know about the fertilization of the trees and stuff like that and what causes, you know, certain leaves to have these certain diseases, this and that or whatever. Pick the book up, read it. That's just what it is. You can't control, you can't get out there and you can't cut no grass. You can't get out there and you can't do no pruning. You can't get out there and you can't do no mulching because you got a typhoon out there. You can't, you can't do none of that. So what do you do? You're going to sit back and you're going to worry about, you know, oh, I got three, four days worth of rain and grass can't cut. Okay, you, you can't do nothing about it anyway. I run into too many landscapers that have grayed and, 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 and bought it before it was time. And I've seen some of them that I visited in the hospital when they ain't had no business in it. 
you know, and I'll sit there and I'll talk to them and this and that or whatever. And the first thing they will come out, pal, man. And then the landscape engineer they'll call me pal. <laughs> pal, man, I'm telling you, you know, that that this business is something else, boy. This, this business is a month. <laughs> yeah, it take patience, man. I ain't going to tell you to type the other thing. Because <laughs> it can't be that. You know what I mean? But, you know, when you're sitting there and you watching them laid up like that and this and that or whatever, it has, you have time to reevaluate. And instead of worrying about, you know, and I understand people don't like to take step backs. People want to stay on an even keel. People, or they want to advance. I get that. I, I, I totally get it. But you got all of this work. You know what I mean? You got people that are not showing up. The tubes going down. The weather playing a part, like we said before, and stuff like that. What's wrong with taking a step back until you can get back on the even keel? Once you get on the even keel, then you move forward until you can get that person to get in to fit in that position and run that position like you want them to run it. I mean, he's not going to do it the way you want to do it because you know he's not going to have an invested interest like you want to do it. You know what I mean? You got to dream big, man. And worrying don't have no place in there. Worrying doesn't have a place in there. You understand? You see what that thing say back there? It says dream big. You got to dream big and worrying doesn't have a place. You, If it doesn't work out, you figure it out to keep going towards that common goal. Because I've seen too many people sit back and they will literally shut everything down because, you know, they didn't get three days worth of rain or the truck had to go in the shop for one day. They will shut it down and they will think the world had came to an end. And I told, and I totally get it. This guy didn't show up and I had these jobs or whatever. Get your butt out there and do something. Get your butt out there and you do something. If you got to get back out in the field because there's nobody out there to really do what you do or want to do what you do, then hey, it is what it is. Get yourself back out there, get in the trenches, and build it the way you want to. You know what I mean? Okay, some of the customers, some of the customers may love for you to see you in a yard. You know what I mean? They may come and be like, oh, what happened? And this and that or whatever. Yeah, you know, I hit a little snag so until I can get somebody to take my place. You know, it is what it is. But they, they're comfortable and they know that you're here. And they know it's going to get done right. They're not going to be worrying about, you know what I mean, what, what you're doing. And, and you hear what I just said, right? They ain't going to be worrying about that because they're going to know that you're out there. You know what I mean? So patience, just be patient. Your time is coming. Trust and believe. Your time, your time is coming. But you got to be willing to take them steps. It's all about rehabbing. It's all about rehabbing. When a football player comes and he's playing football, right? He's playing football. He winds up getting a, a, a foot injury. And this and that or whatever. Instead of worrying about, oh, man, I can't get back out there and play. And this and that or whatever. Uh, man, I got a contract. You know, renegotiate my contract. And this and that or whatever. What, he, what he's going to do? When he's panicking and he's worrying, he's going to rush himself back. He's going to rush himself back. And he's going to wind up hurting something more in the process because he rushed himself back instead of taking the time out like kobe bryant for example kobe bryant for example when he ruptured his achilles and he looked and he was like you know what this may be it for me so when i was watching you know uh, uh the mamba muse and this and that or whatever he literally said, you, you know what, when I ruptured that Achilles, I knew I was going to be out. But I knew at this stage in my career, I couldn't rush. I, could, I couldn't rush it. 
because I knew it wasn't it wouldn't properly heal and I would wind up hurting it even more. Same way with Kevin Durant in the finals. Kevin Durant went, he saw his team losing to Toronto when he was with Golden State. He rushed himself back and wind up rupturing his Achilles even more. And when they wind up losing anyway. You understand what I'm saying? Michael Strahan did the same thing when he was with the Giants. He had something wrong with his toe. He, he fractured his toe, and he was supposed to be out 12 to 14 weeks, but he wound up coming back in week 10 and re-injuring the whole toe, and he had to be out longer. Worrying, it, you got to be patient. Everything is a process. You got to look at the long-term goal of this thing that you're in. You got to look at the long-term goal. I mean, what is your long-term goal? What are you writing down to say, hey, this is what I want to do in the next two years. Hey, this is what I want to do by the end of this year. Hey, in the next six, 10 years, this is where I want to be. Okay, so what are my steps I can do to get there? It's a process. It's patience. You're taking patience and you're moving up the ladder. Worrying doesn't have a place in there. All worrying do is take up space and take up time. That's all it does. It's wasted time that you could be doing reading. You know, so like right here, I got a book right here. The Shrub Identification Book. Worry ain't got no time. It's raining, so get on in and get to read. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know shrubs, but there's some, I don't know all of them. I mean, that's just what it is. You know what I mean? It is what it is. There's shrubs in other countries that I have no clue about. Do I want to learn about them? Yes, I do. So when I go over to those places, I can be like, hey, I can go over to Jamaica and be like, oh, that's so-and-so. Oh, that's, you know, I can go certain places and identify if I need to be. Because this thing is bigger than where I'm living at. This thing, you never know who you can run across in these, you know, in this whole entire U.S. Hey. <laughs> and, you know, on the islands or wherever it may be, you never know who you gonna run across. You could just be having a general conversation. You know what I mean? And this could be, you know, a person of a popular landscape magazine. Like, like uh, uh, I read a lot of pro magazines uh, that deals with, you know, landscaping companies and stuff like that, and this and that or whatever. You may be sitting down there talking to one of the editors of that magazine, and you sit there and you talk like you know what you're doing, and you identify, and then they tell you who it is. That's, that's hey, that's a win. You don't know who you be talking to, and you don't know who you be seeing all the time. These people that your job be listening to on the podcast, you know what I mean? You'll hear their voice, but you don't put a face to them half of the time. You know what I mean? So you don't know who you're talking to out here, and you don't know who you're going to run across, so you better be prepared at all times. And if you're worrying, you ain't prepared for nothing. You ain't, you ain't, you ain't prepared for nothing. So you need to just sit back, you need to just cool back, chill out, and keep it moving. Take these steps. Type patience. Not the other word, but we're going to type patience. Let's go. Type patience in that thing. Let's go. Let's get it. We're going to be patient. We're going to take the necessary steps to get it where we need to be. That's all. Come on. Come on. Subscribe to the channel. Give it a big thumbs up. Leave a comment. Hit that notification bell. Share this video. Share the video. Share all the videos. There's some good content in all the videos. Okay? So just be patient with it. Just simmer down. Just take your time. Everything can be worked out. You know what I mean? If you're worrying, your time will be up before it got started. You will take the fun out of 
you know, what little fun you had in the business, it will be gone. You know what I mean? So you can't, you can't, you can't really worry about it. You can think about it and act on it. You can think about it, put a plan together. You can think about it and move on. You know what I mean? But don't dwell in it. You know what I mean? Don't dwell, you know, don't sit back and lay in the bed. Oh, man, this grass already about, you know, four inches tall. Now, you know, we got these three days of rain. There's some pop out. It's going to be about Sam. <laughs> it's going to be about Sam. You know what I mean? But that's just the nature of the game. It ain't going to stop. And then the customers see that it's that way. You know what I mean? They're going to cut you off. So when you get that rain, all you got to do is just be like, hey, because if you don't get that rain, you better believe you're going to get a cold. And then you're going to be scrounging around doing, you know, extra miscellaneous work to try to cover that cause of, you know, that lot you work that you miss. You know what I mean? They're going to call and be like, hey, you know, I don't need you to come this week because ain't nothing to cut. You can be like, hey, well, we can do this pruning and this and that. They may be like, nah, we good until next time. Or some of them may be like, hey, yeah, go ahead. You know, go ahead and do that. You know, this and that or whatever. But some of them going to be like, nah, we good. You know what I mean? So just look at days of rain as, as, as a blessing to be able to get other things out the way that you've been wanting to do. You know what I mean? And then if you do get rain... You know what I mean? And you're tired, and, and I get that you're tired, this and that or whatever. But on those days of rain, you normally getting up at 5 30. I know I get up at, you know, 4 30 um, in the morning, sometimes 5 30, you know, depending on the routes or whatever. But sometimes I like to get up at 4 30 and I'll sit there and I'll just, you know, brainstorm, you know, through the day for like 15 minutes and then I pop up and get myself going. You know what I mean? Same way, 5.30, brainstorm for about 15 minutes, pop up at 5.45, get my day going. You know what I mean? So if you're tired and you're wore out and I get that and you wake up and it's like, you know, raining cats and dogs or misting or whatever, hey, hit the clock, set it for 6.30, 6.45, 7 o'clock, get that extra, go on back to it. You know what I mean? Because time ain't going to wait for you. Whether it's raining or not, time ain't going to wait for you. So why not get some other things done while, you know, uh, this is on hold over here. You know what I mean? And then when it's your time and when the universe say it's your time, it will be your time. And you'll be able to handle and you will be more equipped to keep it moving. Okay? Type patience in the comments. Come on. Type patience in the comments. Type patience in the comment. You're gonna be more equipped when it happens. You're gonna be more equipped when it when, when it comes down to it. You understand? So it'll be good. Come on, I'm waiting for patience. Come on. All right. Well, I hope this was useful for you. Just remember, worrying is a silent bully. Stress is a silent killer. Why waste your time worrying and stressing when life is too beautiful? Move on. All right? Just, just move on. Think about it. Oh, man, it's raining like that grass going to be high. Oh, well. All right, this is what I can do until that grass get going. And I know I'm going to be tired as a dog dealing with that grass when it start raining. <laughs> but until then, let me go ahead and do this stuff that I've been wanting to do on this end to get this cracking. You know what I mean? So, I mean, there's things that that, 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 that that can be done. You know what I mean? Move into another area. You know what I mean? Another area or another sector of your business and try to get that going. You know what I mean? Try to do, you know, certain areas in another way. You know what I mean? Look at, you know, do some research on some upgrades you can do to your vehicle. You know what I mean? Do some upgrades where you can do research to upgrade your tools. You know what I'm saying? 
do some research on how you can broad, broaden your knowledge to take you further versus just being in the field doing estimates and stuff like that. You may want to do some speaking engagements. You know what I mean? So, I mean, you know, it, it's it's bigger than this. You may want to host you some live events, conferences, or something like that. You know what I mean? Do some research. You know what I mean? Do, do, do your due diligence. Get that website going. You know what I mean? I should be up any day now. So just do your due diligence and get it cracking. All right? Stop worrying. If you know it's going to kill you, if you know it's going to give you health ailments, if you know it's going to have you laid up somewhere, then why do it? Dwell on it for a second. Stop. I can't do nothing about it. Move on. Move on. I remember the other day I woke up and I uh, went out to my pickup truck and it was uh, had to be about 5.30 in the morning. Yeah, it had to be about 5.30 in the morning. I, I woke up and um, got dressed and stuff and went out, you know, to crank my vehicle up. You know, I, you know, I do a van, you know, I take vans. So the E250 was parked in my driveway with the trailer. And uh, if you check out, you know, certain videos, you'll see like my lock set setup or, you know, uh, the 40 inch inside of the van and stuff like that. If you look at that, you'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, but I had my van and trailer parked in the driveway and stuff like that. But I had pulled my pickup in front of it. But when I came out, my pickup was battery had ran dead. You know what I mean? So I'm like, oh, Jesus, man. You know, I got to get to the job. Batteries run down. I got So I wound up calling AAA. They came out. You know, uh, it took them maybe about 35, 40 minutes to come out and this and that or whatever. So I already know that time is pushed back. You know what I mean? Time has pushed back and this and that or have it may be. And I was about to go into the worry mode, but I was like, you know what? I got to get this done and this and that or whatever. So everything would be good. So they came out, they charged it. So I looked at the clock. I was like, oh, okay, well, I'm still good. All right, let's rock and roll with it. Okay. So me not knowing, you know, with the Dodge Rams, but I know now. <laughs> with the Dodge Rams, 1500. After the body died and they charged it, I, you have to let it charge for a while before it, it can even go in reverse. <laughs> yes, they have a little latch there that you know you can pull, and then it'll pull it in neutral, and it'll you know coast back, and you can pull it, push it. But I didn't want to do all of that because you know you have to go on a slight heel. You know, I I've been to warm myself up before I got to work, <laughs> so I wind up waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting, and then eventually it clicked back on because I had you know left it running to going so by the time it did that you know and i got everything together it had wound up being about 7 30 or uh, 8 o'clock in the morning this and that but i knew i was going to hit traffic i knew this was going to happen and i was like oh man jesus you know what i mean so i instantly got on the phone and i said hey you know what i mean hey uh um Miss so and so, you know, I know I said I'll be there today, but I had some issues, you know, with my vehicle. So, um, is it okay if I can reschedule to get there this afternoon, or can I come first thing in the morning? You know what I mean? She was like, "Oh no, that's you know, that's perfect. You can come first thing in the morning, you know." And that's da, 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 da. I said, "Okay, thank you. I appreciate it. You know, I didn't mean to cause any inconvenience or anything like that. I just wanted, you know, to uh, let you know what was going on. You know, I just didn't, you know. And then, you know, she gave a deposit. Normally, I don't like to do deposits, but I did a deposit on this one, but." You know, and I, you know, I was, she was like, no, 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 that'd be fine. I have to run out anyway, but tomorrow I'll be here all day tomorrow. So we're, we're good. I'm like, uh, okay, cool. You know what I mean? Cool. So we're good. So, you know, and everything worked out the way it's supposed to be. And I was able to schedule some houses that were closer in the vicinity that way I can get more done and not have to rush and not have to, you know, uh, 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 be worrying and panicking and then wind up messing everything else up in the process. You know what I mean? So everything can be worked out. 
if it's just a phone call, if it's just an email, you know, in that instance, you know, I do emails or texts, but in that instance, I was like, nah, let me go ahead and call. You know what I mean? And leave a voicemail. You know, if she don't pick up, I'm going to leave a voicemail. You know what I mean? And and let her know what the deal is. And then if she takes it, you know, okay. If not, okay. You know what I mean? But at least I contacted her and we ain't got to be typing 800 paragraphs <laughs> each, each, each time. You know what I mean? So it's all good. You know what I mean? So stop worrying about stop, stop dealing with something that you know is not good for you. So stop worrying about the stuff that's not good. Life is too good. Life is too good. Stop worrying about who ain't with you. Stop worrying about, you know, who ain't coming with you. Stop. Look at who with you now. And work with that. Until you can get what you want. You know what I mean? Because if you're constantly looking and you're working with what you get, you're going to build something. And it may not be what you had planned, but it's working. So you may have to redirect. You know what I mean? Okay, well, this is working, so uh, let me go ahead and roll with this, see how far I take me. But I'm still looking. I'm still doing research. I'm still doing this. I'm still doing that. All right? So... Stop that worrying. Stop that stressing. Love life and just be patient. Go through the process. Take them little steps. When it's your time, the universe will let it be your time and you'll be more apt to deal with it. All right? So I hope this was useful for you. This is Raglan Jr. Yes, Raglan Jr. (laughs) <laughs> Take patience one more time, real quick. I got time. Take patience. Take patience. Take patience. Come on. We good. Hi, right. this is Ragula Junior coming from Next Generation Landscaping. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. Don't forget to leave a comment. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to share. All right. Did I say notification bell? So you'll be abreast of what next generation got going on. You don't want to miss what we got going on because we got something coming down the pike. Yeah, we do. How <laughs> P. Diddy on oh, my bag. Love say, can't stop, won't stop. All right. So until the next time, see you.